hour has arrived, friends. <laughs> Gratitude for your attendance, blessings, and best wishes. I'm Reggie Hubbard, your just and blessings, your yoga teacher this morning. And for those of you who are worried about what you signed up for, don't worry. Right? Today's class will be a mixture of meditation and uh, a hatha-oriented uh, practice because look at me. <laughs> I'm a big-bodied, um, not petite, whatever. I didn't start practicing yoga until I turned 40. So was never a dancer, was never an athlete. My, my gymnastics are mental. And so the way that yoga in the West um, is portrayed doesn't suit me. Yoga is my spiritual practice. It is the opportunity that I have to bring peace to crazy situations. For those of you that don't know me, I speak on Friday afternoon. Um, I'm from the United States. You could probably tell from my voice. I work on Capitol Hill in the midst of the crazy shit that's happening in the, in the United States. And even in that midst, I have tremendous peace. The name of my teaching practice is called Active Peace. It's not called Yoga with Reggie. <laughs> because, <laughs> because these practices precede and will supersede me, and these practices have given me access to infinite peace that allows me to lighten the load of people that cross my path. So for those of us that are social justice workers, isn't that what we want? So you can't give what you don't have. So if you want to bring peace, in, peace into the world and your life's a shitstorm, pardon my, I'm the yogi that curses, and if you don't like it, not sorry. <laughs> but you can't give what you don't have. And so the consistency of my practice allowed me to hold space in the United States in one of the most tumultuous times of our existence as a black man. One of the best compliments I got in my life was from Sister Ayanna Presley um, in the midst of the impeachment fight. If y'all don't know Ayanna, look her up, she's a beast. She was like, brother, let me tell you something about you. And I'm like, oh God, what is it? She was like, you're so cool that when you walk into the room, the blood pressure drops. And I was like, that's like the dopest thing you can tell a yogic Buddhist practitioner. Like, ah! Oh! <laughs> Thank you. So it is my prayer that our time together will give you access to the peace that always exists if you seek it. Right? I had a friend text me last night. I hope I find time to practice. I was like, well, you ain't serious, are you? You don't find time for this. You make time for this. And if you make time for this, for my business people out there, I'm the hippie with the MBA. It's your best return on investment. Your best return on investment is taking care of yourself. So it's in that spirit, let's find a tall spine. Or if you want to lay down, to fi find a position that allows you to be comfortable and at ease in your body. And shout out to my friends online. My teaching practice became virtually, so I'm always sensitive to the people on the screen. So as you find your alignment, whether it be tall or whether it be supine, Touch the ground. Feel the dirt. Many of us wish for pristine times. That's just saying, well, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't what happening right now. <laughs> times are dirty, so feel the dirt and become acquainted with it. So when you find a dirty situation, you're at peace and you're not like, ugh, you're like, okay, here we go. And as you feel the dirt, as you feel the alignment in your spine, for those of you that are able, Allow the breath to become more conscious in your awareness. The breath is the vehicle that animates the apparatus. Without the breath, we're nothing but dirt. So cultivate an intimacy with the breath as if you're meeting it for the first time. And with your hands on the ground, with the awareness of the breath and the body, begin to find a flow with your breath that allows the magic of the inhale and the exhale to become more present in your consciousness. Allow the shoulders to relax, allow the face to soften. Let's take three clearing breaths. I'll toll this bell three times, and for those of you that don't ohm, cool, but we will ohm, because the ohm for me is the sound of the soul, it's the connection to the universe and I don't know where y'all live, but where I live, we need the universe's help right now. <laughs> so deep, full inhale through the nose, audible sigh. 
Deeper, fuller inhale through the nose. Deeper, fuller exhale. Deepest inhale thus far. Deepest exhale. Feel better already, don't you? As the bowl resonates, for those of you that are oming, let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, clear. Deep inhale to sing. Inhale. Oh. the resonance of the universal vibration to catch you where you least expect it. And then make your way to the back. Shavasana. Arms wide, legs wide. Feel your body on the ground. Lay down. supported by the ground. For those of you for whom this is uncomfortable, find a place that allows you to be comfortable. Breathe deep into the belly, exhale out the nose, and begin to cultivate a circular breath. Inhale, exhale, cognizant of it. The inhale is illumination, the exhale is detoxification. For those of you that are on the back, bring knees to chest, Create circles on the low back to nourish the spine, the root of the energetic channel in the body, Shashum Nadi, spinal cord. Switch the direction of your circles. And for those of you who sit in chairs all day, if you do this 30 seconds in one direction, 30 seconds in the other, it'll change your life. Right knee in, left leg long. Squeezing right knee in as much as you can. Lift left leg up on the inhale, down on the exhale. I call this exercise compression freedom. So we're offering compression to the ab abdomen, the intestines on the right side. And on the left side, we're offering full range of motion in the hips. Once you get a full experience here, maybe the leg goes out to the side. Maybe the leg bends. But who cares what this looks like? How does it feel, baby? <laughs> there is no path forward. There is, there is no playbook for what we find ourselves in now. So allow yourself to sense into what feels good because that is almost always the right path. 10 more seconds offering range of motion in the hips, which is our creative center. And for those of us that are change makers, we need creative freedom. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, slowly lower, point and flex the foot. When heel touches the ground, bring left leg in, right leg long, same song, different side, right leg up and down. Once you get the flow, bring creativity into the experience. How might this basic action of compression on one side, freedom on the other side, holding space for opposites, how might this dance serve your creative purposes? How might you be nourished? Yes, this is non-traditional. If you haven't looked me up, hi, I kind of do things my own way without apology. 10 more seconds, getting into the good stuff. Inhale, right leg to the sky. 
Exhale, lower, and as you lower, point and flex the foot, noticing the chain of connection between big toe and hip. Return to Shavasana, arms wide, legs wide. If you touch your neighbor, it's okay, we're human, we need touch. Inhale, bring knees to chest, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, out wide. So in for your potential, exhale, express. So in and out. Supported by the ground, and again, akin to my style, once you get into it, if you need to express yourself a different way, get it. I'm a child of the hip hop era, ruthless, authentic expression is how I get down. I also live in a society where I'm marginalized by the color of my skin. So authentic self-expression is how I find liberation. Four or five more of these, for those of you who care to make this a core exercise, sit upright. Five, four, three, two, one. For those on the back, both these chests, last pose on the back. Begin to rock on the spine as if you were a child at recess. Maybe even you go, wee! It's okay to play. If life is too serious, don't invite me to your party. Then come up, cross the legs in whatever way serves you. Let's get into the shoulders, please. How are we feeling? That's two people. There's like 40 people here. All right, cool. <laughs> Said, I'm calling response. I'm not from Europe, y'all. I'm from the States. Holler at me, all right? <laughs> Touch the ground, get into the shoulder. So maybe one shoulder, maybe the other shoulder. For those of you that want to be like your Beyonce, get in there, bring some sassafras here. Why? We sit for hours like this. Does this shit look healthy? I mean, if you want to be a T-Rex or if you're in Michael Jackson's Thriller video, cool. But like, for human beings, get into the shoulders as best you can. As we open the chest, we take deeper breath, deeper breath, better quality of life, more illumination and detoxification. So 10 more seconds of however you care to open your heart. Maybe you backstroke. Who knows, who cares, how does it feel? Yeah. The best lesson I had as a kid is being black because people hated me just because I was alive. So I stopped giving a shit about what people think 40 years ago. because our authentic expression is what's needed right now. So now, shoulders back and down, arms out to the side. Let's get into the breath and movement. Inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, down and through. And then find a fluid movement of this that serves your purposes. Eyes open or closed, whatever brings you comfort. Comfort, not in the narcotic sense, comfort in the active piece that allows you to be at an equ equ equanimity state, regardless of external circumstance. When I worked on Capitol Hill and impeaching Donald Trump, yes, I was the, one of the lead strategists on getting that motherfucker. Anyway, so <laughs> I had to be in touch with my breath and the ground to be of service to the moment. So three or four more of these, maybe the arms go wide, maybe the chest to the sky, but be expressive. Give gratitude for your life, give gratitude for the breath, give gratitude for the community that we're creating here. Inhale, arms out, palms up, chest open. I have the benefit of the sun. But imagine the sun coming through me out to you, be revitalized by the energy of our source. Three clearing breaths, in through the nose, into the chest. Exhale, sigh, ha. For those of you that are frustrated, it's okay to scream. There you go. Deep inhale. Exhale, ha. There we go, welcome to the party. Last one, deep inhale. Thank you, bird. Exhale, ha! Don't you love when nature appreciates that? 
I didn't expect this. Anyway, arms down. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, right arm outside of left knee and twist. For those of you for whom you need neck relief, maybe you look over right shoulder, then left. Make sure breath and movement are linked. The reason I practice a slow, mindful style of yoga is that, like, if you don't breathe, that's suffocation. That's not liberation. <laughs> three, three inhales and exhales in this twist. Deep inhale. Exhale, navel to spine, twist a little deeper. Deep inhale. Exhale, twist. Last inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, release the twist, arms out to the side. And I call this shimmy asana. Show me some sass, baby. <laughs> I see you, Jay. How does it feel to be self-expressive? How does it feel to not care what conformity says, but to be authentic to who you are? That's the yoga that I teach. Twist the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left hand outside of right knee and twist. Maybe touch the hand, left arm, mirror arm behind you. Luxuriate the twist for those who need neck relief, forward and back. Maybe you open and close the jaw. breaths in this twist decide if you want to keep it deeper that is your choice deep inhale exhale navel to spine deep inhale exhale navel to spine deep inhale exhale navel to spine deep inhale exhale release arms out wide you know what it is the fingers give me jazz hands for those with legs crossed let's find a different cross of the legs for balancing the pelvis rhetorical question but feel free, feel free feel free to answer if you care to who here types a lot or texts a lot yeah if you don't have your hand up don't lie lying is not yoga <laughs> hands together fingers together make wrist circles here and if your wrists are popping, that's synovial fluid being like, thank you for remembering that I can go in 360 degrees, not like this for hours. And again, that's consistent with my flow. Maybe the shoulders get involved in this. Maybe they don't. Noticing the connection between wrist and shoulder. Pause of the direction. Nourishing the essential personnel of the hands. If your hands didn't work, you would have a really hard time. Right? So again, once you get the flow, maybe the shoulders get involved. Release. Shake the hands out as if you were a toddler who was upset they couldn't have ice cream for breakfast. Then, hands back and forth as if we were saying hello super awkwardly. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, you back there. Or a sweater, hey. Right. Now, make your way to table pose.
this flow. And just luxuriate in this flow. We're back right here. Though. If you want to stay in the balance, stay out. If you want to stay in the crunch, stay in. Again, what serves your needs? I refuse to teach the yoga of regurgitation. I teach the yoga of exhilaration and liberation. Who are you? <laughs> what do you need? If this is uncomfortable for you, you're welcome. Now, left leg long, right arm long. Stay out, or for those that want a deeper twist, reach right hand towards left foot. Shine the chest forward. Three clearing breaths. Inhale. Exhale, lion's breath. Ah. Inhale. Exhale. Ah. Deep inhale. Exhale. Ah. Release. Breathe towards infinity. Place. To the other side, find your length on the inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, and keep your flow. For those who care to make this more of a balanced experience, close the eyes, fall to ground and see the flow. It is my prayer that this experience is getting you in touch with the you that is beyond the story, the you that is feeling, that is sentient dynamic.
left hand as far forward as you can, press into left palm, press into back of right hand. Stay here. Go for the full expression of wild child, left leg out. If this is uncomfortable, that's the point. <laughs> Breathe into the discomfort and find your strength that is there. Resilience comes from challenge, not from comfort. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. <laughs> awesome. Deep full inhale. Exhale. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Left leg in as awkwardly as, as you can. Inhale, right arm to the sky. We'll circle the wrist. Right hand down. Turn toes under. Walk back, seat towards heels, toes pose. The feet are our foundation. I didn't see any of y'all walking in on your hands. <laughs> we don't take care of our feet, and when they don't work, we get upset. So let's stretch out the soles of the feet here. For those of you that need a little divine inspiration, hands to heart center. For those of you that want to open the shoulders, eagle arms or bear hug. Either way, soften the eyes, see towards the heels, and breathe. Allow the discomfort that you feel in the feet to be received as nourishment, not punishment. Detoxification. <laughs> Release. Pat out top to the feet, either lovingly or like, I hate this guy. Why the hell did I show up? It's totally stuck. It sucks in a good way. Round two, turn toes under. Walk back gingerly. For those of you that took eagle arm, take that on the other side. If you didn't take eagle. Okay. If you didn't take Eagle, maybe, maybe find a little bit more life here. So maybe there's a side bend experience. If you took Eagle on the other side, balance it out. But if you didn't, just find an expression of self as you nourish your foundation. opposite elbows, you can take hands behind the back, but what gives you relief, what gives you space? Friends, how are we doing? How are we feeling? All right. Who says slow yoga is boring? I'll have them holler at me. They ain't ready for this. Now, allow 
the hands to release if you have some sort of bind. Plant, plant firmly into the feet. Wiggle the fingers with that joie de vivre. Then slowly come up vertebra by vertebra. Arms all the way to the sky. Arms intact. Let's do this. Inhale, arms up, reach. Maybe come onto the toes. Exhale, cactus, maybe back bend. So find this up and down for about 10 seconds or so. Again, in a way that suits your needs. I'm not the teacher to tell you what to do. I give you space to find what you need. Because our authentic expression is what will heal the world. Regurgitation of other people's truth ain't a god that don't work. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, it's okay, be deluded. <laughs> Next time arms are down, take legs wide, arms out wide. And find that shimmy that we had earlier. There's not enough shimmy in the world. Everyone's so, yikes, so. Find this flow. For those of you who want to be belly dancers as a kid, feel that. And then take a deep inhale. Exhale, left hand towards right foot. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. So find this contralateral stretch. Finding balance in asymmetry. Skandasana, cool. If you just want to go faster again, what makes you feel good in this experience? Thirty seconds. And I appreciate you all. Alternating side. 
by giving you what you need. From our teachers in the space, notice how we started on the ground, now we're on the feet. So we started from grounding, opened up to liberation and imagination. I think that's my grandfather. <laughs> my ancestors hold me down, dude. What's up, Bob? Eh? my grandmother. <laughs> so in fullest expression, find your deep lunge on whatever side and linger. Don't try and do what I'm doing. It took me five years to get you. <laughs> and whatever that expression is, be it. Open chest.
you, Mama. As we conclude our time together, notice how you feel, and I don't believe in attachment, but feel this viscerally. Notice how we nourish the soles of the feet and the top of the head. Bring palms together at the heart center. Create friction in the hands. Then place the hands on the face and massage the face, jaw, side of the head, mouth. One last time, friction in the hands. And the last place that we did not touch is the eyes. So take heated hands, place them on the eyes, and thank you, eyes. We're so sorry for all this looking at the computer. Ugh. Massage the eyes with gratitude that they still work. For those of us that are sighted, let's have a moment of compassion for those that can't see, rather than take it for granted. Open the eyes into the palms, lower the palms down. It has been my honor to be of service to you, hoping that this practice has nourished and inspired you. I'm Reggie. For those of you that want to keep in touch, I've got stuff here. I'm here to talk. Deep gratitude for your willingness to participate in my non-traditional style. Hope it has been nourishment and elicit to your soul. Ashe. Namaste. for whom this installation is here. Shout out to the artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think we have a presentation. I didn't mean to put you on, actually I did mean to put you on the spot. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Reggie. Um, thank, you thank you for this beautiful session. And thank you, everyone, for being here this morning. Thank you, Hope. Thank you, Abel. It's been wonderful. Today is the official kickoff of the Wellbeing Summit. We are very excited to have you all here. And not only you, but all the others from 60 different countries, and we hope also many from Bilbao that will enjoy the art and the well-being experiences that have been cu beautifully curated for these three days. Today, we are very proud and happy to, to be in this wonderful, um, um, piece of art. Um, Jasmani has come here many times to really understand the city and its people, the stories of Bilbao, Biscaya, and has translated what he felt and seen in this beautiful piece. We are the, the objective of the summit is really to help us to connect with each other, to continue this movement of change to create more well-being in the social innovation space, more well-being for yourself and for the others around you. <laughs> we also really wanted to have this exchange of local and global, and that's why we have been coming here for the last four years to really understand the city, its people, and we brought artists like Jasmani to really uh, go deepen in these relationships. We believe that art is a universal language and that, that it, it can help us go really deep into ourselves and connect us with our emotions, but also uh, can translate many things that the artists are seeing into these wonderful structures. We hope that you will be that you will enjoy this week and the deep, the deep connections that you will create 
and that you will be energized and go home with this, um, this inspiration and this energy to continue your work and the transformation you are creating in, in the world. Today I want to welcome Werner who has um, supported uh, this piece of art and has been a, a real inspiration for us also. He uh, works for um, Cannes, um, uh, sorry, a community art networks, and uh, he really believes um, that art has a, a special power to and has a role in social change. Werner? But what a beautiful picture. I think I've never, I never came in in a room or space in, a m in this wonderful morning in this wonderful city with a wonderful, I don't even want to say in structure, with a wonderful human doing such a nice session, seeing you all being fully immersed in the space, in the local space on this soil. And this was just stunning. I want to say this first. And, and then thanks for giving me the space to introduce Yasmani. This is the most important thing, not to talk too much. Uh, because actually, um, it was already said most of the things. As you know, and it is, again, I, I want to stress it, if, if there is something unique, hopefully, in this summit, bes beside the importance of the topic of well-being, is that it's an, Im an immersion of uh, arts and well-being, the language of arts, as came before words came, and we are, you know, we are so headed and talking, but you just did is, is more in the body, we have to go into the body, and I think this is a beautiful uh, tes testimony, what you just shared, and with this wonderful music, I mean, if you see wonderful, ag again, we have to do a big applause for our <laughs> wonderful friends from Zimbabwe. Um, and it's just a snapshot what you can discover, you will see, but even if you go into the session, you will be part of an experience. At the end of the day, it's about the relations, and at the end of the day, it's about experience and connections. And that's what we want to convey. Uh, and as she said, you know, we, we were very keen. Uh, there were some principles, the one that arts is immersed into everything. The other thing was local and global, because what happens very often is we fly in from all over the world, and what and we don't even know who are the neighbors, who are the citizens here. Uh, can we connect to them? And we did, and Yasmani, and now I'm really looking to him, Yasmani Arboleda is one of the artists we're really proud of. And I'm saying proud of because he's really an artist working with the people. And I'm saying with the people, not for the people. He's working with the people in the most beautiful dimensions you can you can think of, and he did wonderful work. He is also the artist in residence for the Community Arts Network. He's the artist in residence in New York for the Civic Engagement Commission. He did incredible work there. He worked in so many countries, from Afghanistan to Nigeria, many, many, many more. But what I would say about him is, he is the one with the good soul and connects with everyone. I've never seen an artist who is that humble and clear and with the people and listening to him, and this whole PC will talk about it, is actually a result of listening, a result of listening to the local people. And with this, Yasmani, we are just so delighted to have such an artist here. Give him a big applause. I give him a hug for all what we've done. Good morning, buenos dias. First, thank you, Reggie, for that incredible ritual, that beginning. Um, Abel, hope, your music is transforming. Um, thank you all for being in, on this earth, uh, for sitting on this grass, for engaging with each other. I will tell you that my, most of my work, most of my work, all of my work deals with transformation. I think the earth is transforming, and I'm really interested in engaging in how we are transforming with it. When I came to Bilbao in 2019, invited by the Wellbeing Project, um, I was invited to participate in constellation therapies, uh, constellation, people sitting around in circles, telling story about where they come from, about their families, their friends. And one of the things that you realize when you work with communities all over the world is that everywhere we have a history of violence. Everywhere we have a history of trauma. And mo m so much of our trauma is actually generational. It comes from the people that we come from. 
and the recognition and why this hospital for the soul, how it began, it was a, a nurse from Olari, Olorio, Alorio, from a near town said, if we recognize from the, from the war, the civil war that happened many, many decades ago on this, on this, uh, in this place, the history of the ETA, the, the violence that occurred here for many years after the Franco regime, families and people are still dealing with enormous amounts of challenges that come from that pain. And so this nurse, Anne, said, what we need now is a, un hospital para el alma, a hospital for the soul, a place where the rain can wash away the blood that's still on all of us. And I'll, I'll tell you, I, I, I was born in the United States. I grew up in Colombia to uh, people from Medellin, from the Andes Mountains. And from, I, my, my father was assassinated when I was 11 years old. Two of my uncles were tortured to death. When I think about the history of racial violence in America, when I think about what I, the stories that I heard here, we all have to recognize these things so that we can actually build a healthy future. It's not until we can actually unpack all of that pain and deal and honor all of the people who have passed away that we can actually build together the earth that is healing. And so when I thought about, gosh, what does that hospital, how does it manifest? And I thought, gosh, could it be a sequence of rooms in which our encounters with nature transform us? And it was the simplicity of being able to come up to a tree and touch the bark, the simplicity of getting down to the ground and feel the grass. And so over and over again, I thought, how do we build rooms for the heart of the nose, the heart of the ears, the heart of our hands? How do we really engage with our senses and recognize that we have to, and so let's build a big mirror where we can see each other on the earth with nature to see that interdependence. And so that has been the work. Time and again, I've shown up and I've built relationship with people and, and that's, to be able to do that is an honor. So I am deeply grateful. What you see, what I call here, these pants, it's, they're my optimistic yellow pants. The structure of, this, of, of the back of this mirrored surface is optimistic yellow. Optimistic yellow comes from a project in Kenya called Coloring Faith, where between 2014 and 2018, we painted houses of worship yellow in the name of love. Mosques, temples, churches, 16 buildings between Nairobi and Mombasa. And people say, oh my gosh, yes, the buildings, gorgeous sculptures that speak to our coming humanity. But I always say, that's, that's true, that's the, that is what those are. But for me, the most meaningful part was having Muslims, Christians, Hindus, all kinds of people showing up to paint together, to get to know each other's names, to get to know each other's favorite food, to get to know how you hang out, how they, people hang out with their kids, right? Like all of these simple things. And so across all of my work, what we're really doing is building meaningful relationship. My hope is that as you begin this morning and this, this Wednesday into this summit, that you can find meaningful people, people around you to build meaningful relationship with. And so we have a bunch of sunflowers, we have this moment and this breath. And I'm so grateful that I can engage with these ideas and invite people to, to change, to engage with their, their, their way in the world. I'll also tell you that I come, up from a, I come from a very conservative Catholic family uh, from Medellin, and when I was growing up as a queer little boy, I didn't know how to belong on, on the earth. And it was by searching out people who understood and, and, and accepted me as I was. And so for me, this is a temple to pluralism. It is a temple to this tree, this magnolia, which I call tree number five, because there's a carving of the number five on the, on the, on the, on the trunk. And so wherever you go, I invite you to create spaces where everyone is welcomed, right? Let's, let, let's practice letting go of judgment. Let's practice optimism. I do want to, before I finish my, my talk, I want to say thank you to a bunch of people because this being human is a team sport. And so I want to thank Sandrine and Aaron Pereira from the Wellbeing Project for inviting me into this journey. It has been wild. It has been exhausting and it's been spectacular. And when I look at the construction of this installation in this park, I can't even imagine that we're here. We're here. I want to thank Manuel Barrogo, the curator who has handled this process so beautifully, who has been so graceful, who at every turn shows up with humor and invites me into letting go of all the things that are really hard. I want to thank Werner and the Porticus Foundation family. I want to thank Anise Barnard and the Community Arts Network, the people who are showing up all over the world, a network of people believing that art is the answer, the structural shift that we need to be able to heal this earth. 
I want to thank my partner, Danny Mefford, and my friend, Thierry Dumoulin, who's also here, who came from New York to be a part of this moment, and my family in New York and in Colombia. I have people, actually, my family all over the world. I have fa moms and dads and cousins everywhere that speak all kinds of languages, that look all kinds of ways, and they have housed me and they have fed me as we've been building these projects, which are really a labor of love. I want to thank Pez Studio, Elisa de los Reyes Garcia Lopez y Ushue Perez de Pipo, de Papa, Pipaon, uh, the two female, there is an ar a female, all female architecture team based here in Bilbao. When I began this work, I thought it was really important to invest in the local people. And we had an incredible team of architects and a contractor. His name is John, who is a part of the Ipareche Carpinteria. They were here for the past week trying to figure out how to make this the most beautiful expression it could be. Um, and then finally, I want to thank the people of Bilbao who opened their hearts to me time and time again. I'm so grateful to you all, and I hope that you can take one of these sunflowers with you and carry it throughout today as a, as a part of the extension of what this is about. And you can tell our story and invite others to come and hang out in this space and enjoy this tree and enjoy this place. Thank you so much. So this is totally unscripted, but first of all, thank you. I, f I forgot when I was here that this is the opening. So thank you. Um, I'm getting emotional. Thank you, Wellbeing Summit, for trusting me and my art to grace this art to heal us all, because I believe yoga and nature are tools to liberate the soul for our healing. Right, so, um, and I just have one request. Um, this is the dopest thing I've done in my life. <laughs> so when you get your flowers, for those of you that are interested, can we take a picture with the art and the artist and I put this on social media and we just get this love out there. Can we do that? Ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Of course. So for those that want to, let's take a picture here. Otherwise, have a beautiful day and deep gratitude to the festival, the summit for this honor.